Now, I have been a whole time a big believer in Dr. Fauci long before this. I, I've been a believer ever since he helped turn HIV from a death sentence into a much, ma- much more manageable lifelong condition, something that seemed inconceivable back in the 80s. So it's hard to see Fauci be, let's say, more optimistic about the battle against COVID-19. Although, let's be clear, he didn't say we can stop doing social distancing. He certainly didn't say we can go start having parties. In fact, he says, quote, now's not the time to pull back at all. It's a time to intensify, end quote. And that's a vital caveat. We should all be proud of what we are doing to mitigate and keep the pressure on this dreaded disease, which is too lethal versus anything this easy to catch, maybe since the Spanish flu in 1918. Some say even worse than that. And that's why when we do open for business, the new normal won't be like the old normal. And you must understand that because it matters for your life and your portfolio, particularly today when a lot of companies went up that maybe they shouldn't have. By the way, light is five in a month. Assuming Fauci is right, though, to be more optimistic, and I think he is, what does the new normal look like? Well, first, the retailers that do well when we open for business will be the stores that actually have been taking share this whole time. Walmart, Costco, and Target. These companies have mastered the art of e-commerce, and they're ready for customers no matter what. They have good hygiene policies and great call-aheads. If anything, their pickups are better than they were before the pandemic. Costco reported March sales tonight. They were spectacular, but the stock's down as people bought a lot of lesser quality retailers. This happens repeatedly. My take, what a chance to buy the best of breed at a discount. And we always want to buy the best of breed. I'm betting. Most of the department stores will choose this moment to permanently close their worst locations. And what does that mean? More market share for outfits like these. But it also means Amazon will be more powerful than ever. Maybe that when we're really open for business, I'm going to stop letting those corrugated boxes aerate on the porch for a couple of days before I spray them with Lysol and open them and see what Amazon sent me. Each time we have one of these situations where you can't go shopping, you end up buying more stuff from Amazon and less stuff from supermarkets or drugstores. This week, I, I, I put a bunch of things I always buy at Walgreens on auto delivery with Amazon. Why bother going to the store when shopping's a health hazard? I always buy the same stuff anyway. Hey, the new normal is kind of like a Dollar Shave or Harry's for everything. Now, I know that Dr. Fauci doesn't want to encourage people to go outside. He wants you to stay inside. He wants us to keep social distancing. When the virus peaked in Spain and Italy, people started lowering their guard, and now they're seeing an uptick in new cases again. Suboptimal. And that's why I doubt we'll ever go back to shopping like we used to. Everybody's going to be on edge unless both workers and shoppers have face masks. I think everyone should have their temperature taken first thing when they go to work. Come on, OSHA, please step up and do your job. And that's going to be the new normal because anything else, anything else is irresponsible. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.